This tutorial is going to walk you through some of the ways of getting faster when you use the Excel program. People who've used Excel for a long time have a tendency to shift from using the mouse to the keyboard. And all the things I'm going to show you in this session might seem like very small improvements. Save a second here, or save a second there. But when you put them all together, it actually makes you dramatically more efficient. I mean, think of how many times per day you use the mouse or click on something. If you could even save a second each time, soon you're talking about some real significant improvements in your productivity. For this session, I have a little program open over here which shows you what I type. So if I hold down a key like Control or Mac, you're going to see it highlight down here. Same thing if I do a keystroke like Command Up, you now you see the keystroke Command Up. Now, I'm currently on a Mac. If you're on a PC, just translate anytime you see that symbol with the control on your keyboard, and you should be okay. Let's talk about some of the basic keyboard shortcuts everybody should know. First off, we have some input data options. When I input data, you're probably used to clicking on cells and typing things in. One of the bad habits I see, though, with people that go to a cell and then double click on the cell to get inside of it. It's not necessary. Instead, just go to a cell and start typing something in. Now as you type things in, you're going to want to exit the cell at some point. If you want to go to the right, hit the tab key. If you want to go down, instead you're going to do something a little bit different. Instead you're going to hit the enter key. Enter goes down below. Now this might seem like a small difference, but if you have a lot of data, it actually can make a lot of difference in your speed. So just a reminder, hello, right, versus hello, enter, down. We also can do this with the shift. What shift is going to do is it's going to let us go the opposite direction. Say I type in a word like hello. I go to the right, I type in Bob, and I realize I made a typo. I want to go back to the left again. So instead of hitting tab to go to the right, I'm going to hit shift tab to go to the left. And then I can go back and re-enter a cell. Same thing for enter. If I've got a typo in a cell here, I can go back up by doing shift enter to go vertically. The last thing that's important when you're inputting data is the escape key. Some formulas will actually cause errors where you can't get out of it. These are usually syntax errors, like you forget the closing parenthesis or something. You hit enter and you're going to get this error and you can't get out of the cell until you fix it. But if you finally just want to give up, hit the escape key. The escape key is going to undo all the editing that you were in. So if I go up to Bob, and I type in Bob2, and I realize, oh, I don't want to do that, I'm going to hit the escape key, and now I'm back at Bob. So these are, again, some little quick things. The last one I think is really important is the F2 key. Now, one word of warning, if you're on a laptop, Usually the F keys are going to be mapped to other functions on your computer. It might be things like increasing the volume or changing the, the mute, all kinds of things like that. If you're on a Mac though, you can toggle that behavior by hitting the function key and then F2. That'll toggle the purpose of the keys away from the laptop and into the normal computer. If you're on a Mac with a touch bar, you can also do the same thing by hitting the FN keys, and that'll toggle the touch bar sort of graphical user interface to showing you the F keys. But anyway, say you're actually looking at something like this cell here, and you want to add on a little bit at the end, but don't want to retype everything. If you're on a cell, hit the F2 key. Once you hit F2, now you're immediately editing that particular thing. So this is a really quick way to tweak something, again, without using the mouse. and not keeping, keeping your hands on the keyboard. So again, those keys are F2 to edit the current cell with the cursor, Escape to undo and get out, Enter, Shift Enter, Tab, and Shift Tab. Now there's other options for helping us move things around and do things with the Control key. You're probably familiar with the Control C, X, and V keys, as those are pretty common across all of Windows. Control C does a copy, X cuts, V pastes, and Z undoes. Now these again are handy if you're selecting things. I can grab a cell and paste it somewhere else. Copy a cell and paste it. But the real advantage comes when you're actually doing multiple cells at the same time. Let me show you an example. 
Let's say I have a big block of data, a bunch of Sarah Smiths, and I want to go ahead and move all those down here. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I could select each cell at once or use the mouse, but there's actually a built-in feature to Excel to make this process easier. Now, the process uses two different keys. The first one is the command or the control key. Command or control causes your cursor to jump. So if I hold down the command key and go right, you'll see it's command right, left, back, and I'm jumping around my block of text here. I can also jump over spaces. So you see how I jumped from D19 to B19. Excel is basically jumping over that empty space for me. It'll do one row or multiple rows. You can see how I hop from 20, row 26 down to row 30. So this is a quick way to move around fast inside of your document. Now you might notice if you go too far, you go all the way to the right hand side of the document, and now I can see that the rightmost column in my document is column XFD. I can also do Command or Control down and go to the last row. So now I'm at the very, very bottom of my Excel spreadsheet on row 1 million and change and column XFD. But I'll go Command up and Command left to get back to the original A1 cell that I'm looking at. So that's the jump command, which is control or command. The other option you have is shift. When you hold the shift key, you're basically telling the computer to do a selection. So if I hold down shift and move to the right, you'll see I'm now drawing a box. Shift right, shift left, shift up, and I'm moving around with my box that I have here. Now when I do this, I want to actually combine the two together. I'm going to hold command and shift at the same time, and then go down and right and then I instantly have a selection box. This is incredibly handy when you have a table of data. Imagine you've got four or five hundred rows of a formula. If you want to edit a formula and then copy it down, you can then just do command shift down and you have the entire selection box. A couple other keys that are handy as well is control S and control P. Control S should be something that's just basic muscle memory at this point. You guys should be practiced at just automatically saving your work, hitting that control S option periodically. Same thing for control P, that gives you print. Now there's a couple other shortcuts I think are useful as well. Again, it'll make you a little bit faster. Some of these are fairly basic, like control home, that goes up to cell A1, or control N, which goes to roughly the last cell. But I think the ones that are most useful are really the control, shift, and arrow keys. Those do your selections and move around. Those are the ones I tend to use the most. There's a couple of other F keys I think are useful to know. F1 opens up help, which again is something that works in almost all of Windows. F4 is also useful for references. If I have equals A1 and I want to add the dollar signs to it, if I press F4, you see it's going to actually toggle the keys. Now unfortunately my keyboard's not doing this right now, but just imagine that I toggle, it's going to go from dollar $F$4. And as I hit the F4 key to toggle through, and if you have a keyboard that's not broken, you'll see that you will get F with a dollar sign, but not the 4. And then you'll get a 4 with a dollar sign, and not the F, and then it'll go back to the basic one. So it toggles between the four different versions of references. You have a relative reference, you have an absolute reference, and then you have a mixed reference. Anyway, that's the F4 key, which is super useful. Now, there's a couple other ones I like as well. One of the ones that's really handy is Control R. This is one that I do all the time. Control R is going to allow me to copy whatever cell I'm on to the right. So say I have some values over here, and I want to copy this cell to be all of these cells over here as well. Well, I could do Control C to copy, Control Shift right to select, and Control V to paste. That works just fine. But it's actually a lot faster, instead, just to do a selection and hit Control R. That copies whatever cells on the left all the way to the right. We have a similar thing with down. I could do Control C to copy, Control Shift down to select, and then Control V to paste. Works just fine. But it's a lot faster if I go ahead and just do a selection and then Control D, and that copies it down. This also applies for doing control right and control down for larger blocks. So it makes it really quickly, e really quick and easy to copy a formula around. So that's control R and control D. Control or command one 
opens up the font men menu. So it opens the font, you can quickly pick something and hit enter to have that formatted the way you want it to have formatted. Control plus and control minus are actually kind of useful too. These are most useful for when you're actually selecting a row or a column. So if you look here, shift space selects a row and control space selects a column. So if I do shift space, I have the whole row selected. And then I can do control plus and control minus to add or delete. Now one thing about this is that if you're doing this on a normal keyboard, the plus symbol is actually above the equals. So remember, if you're going to use the plus, you have to hold down shift. So in my case, I'm going to do command shift plus to insert after I have the selection. So those are a bunch of different options you have for playing around with shortcut keys in Microsoft Excel. Go ahead and try practicing those out. One way you can do that is by going to the second sheet for this file. I have a little symbol of Mario here, which you can use to try and navigate around. Try and figure out what's the fastest way to go between these different steps. How do you get from A1 to B14 in the fastest possible way? So for example, if I want to do it, I might go right one and then control or command down to get to A14. So try practicing, see how quickly you can move around. You might also think about how to use the cursor to tweak stuff as well. How would you copy and paste the cells in the quickest possible way to make him look like the picture that's above? But in any case, I think the most useful ones for you to know are the ones I mentioned before. Things like Escape, Enter a tab, Control C, X, and V for a copy, cut, paste, Control Z for undo, save, and print, and then the selection keys. If you can do the selection keys and the ones above, that takes you about 90% of the way to being much, much faster with your computer.